Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving course schedule 4. In this problem, we are given n courses marked from 0 to n minus 1 and a list of prerequisites. The list is a direct list of prerequisites. For example, in the list, if we are given B, C, that means that the course B is a prerequisite for course C. So in order to opt for the course C, we first have to do the course number B. If A is a prerequisite for B, then in order to do the course number C, we have to first do the course A, then the course B, and then course C. But we are only given the direct prerequisites. Now we are given certain queries and we have to answer those queries. In these queries, we are given, let's say, A, B, and we have to answer that whether A is a prerequisite of B or not. For better clarity, let us go to the example. So in this example, we are given that 0 is a prerequisite of 1, 1 is a prerequisite of 2, and 2 is a prerequisite for 3, and 3 is a prerequisite for 4. Now we are asked in the queries that whether 0 is a prerequisite for 4. And we can see that 0 is in fact a prerequisite for 4. So to do the course number 4, we first have to do the course number 3. And to do the course number 3, we have to do the course number 2. And to do 2, we have to do the course number 1. And in order to opt for the course number 1, we have to do the course number 0. So 3, 2, 1 and 0, they all are prerequisite to the course number 4. So the answer for this query is true. Now, we are asked that 4 is a prerequisite of 2. And we see that there is no path from 4 to 2. So the answer for this is false. For 1, 3, yes, it is true. And we have to do one before opting for the course number three. So the answer is true. And to do the course number zero, we don't have to opt for the course number three. So the answer is false. So this is how it works. Now, one possible way to solve this problem could be to find the direct paths. For example, we saw that uh, in order to answer this particular query, we tried finding a path from 0 to 4 and yes we were able to find a path from 0 to 4 and the distance of that path was 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 the 4, four was the total distance of that path and we were able to reach in four steps from 0 to 4 so the answer for that query was true but let us say we go for this query from 4 to 2 there's no direct path so these are unidirectional paths and we cannot reach from 4 to 2, whatever we do. So we can try solving this problem using BFS or DFS. What we'll have to do is we will have to go to each of these nodes and then from that node we will have to do the DFS or the BFS traversal. And let's say if we do the DFS traversal from node number 0, we will be able to reach 1, 2, 3 and 2. 4 so 0 become the prerequisite for all of these from 1 we will be able to reach 2 3 and 4 and 1 becomes the prerequisite for 2 3 and 4 similarly we can apply this to each of the node and answer the queries so the complexity will be big O of n plus e multiplied by n where n is the number of node and e is the number of edges so this is the complexity of DFS slash BFS and we have to perform this n times so the complexity become this. In worst case, the number of edges itself is n square. So the worst case complexity is big O of n cube. Similarly, you can try solving this problem using topological sort. But in this video, we are going with the fluid virtual algorithm, which is one of the easiest algorithm in terms of coding. This is also an n cube algorithm and we will see how nicely it will solve the problem for those who don't know what this algorithm is i will provide the link in the description you can go there and learn the algorithm and then come back and try solving the problem by yourself and now let us proceed with the algorithm initially what we are going to have is a matrix where the distance from each node to other node is infinity except the direct edges so there was a direct edge between 0 and 1 and the distance was 1. From, If we go for vice versa, that is from 1 to 0. So the distance is 
infinity because uh, the given graph is a uh, unidirectional and not bidirectional so from 1 to 2 the distance was 1 from 2 to 3 the distance was 1 similarly from 3 to 4 the distance was 1 so this was the initial graph which we were given now we need to convert this using floyd Warshall algorithm in big of n cube and this will be the product that we obtain in the floyd Warshall algorithm we get the all pair shortest path that is from all the nodes to all the other nodes we will be able to generate the shortest path the distance of the shortest path so from the node number 0 the shortest path to 1 is 1 the shortest path to 2 is 2 the shortest path from 0 to 3 the distance is 3 similarly for the node number 2 the shortest path to 4 is 2 from the node number 4 the shortest path to 0 is infinity because it is not reachable and from 4 to 1 it is infinity because 4 to 1 is also not reachable now once we are able to generate this using the floyd Warshall algorithm we can answer all the queries in big of 1 that is constant time complexity let's say we are given a comma b as query where a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 4 now in order to answer this query we will go to the cell 1 comma 4 that is this cell and we will see that the value there is a numeric value and not infinity so we will answer true for this query because uh, we don't have to actually look at the distance what we are more bothered about is whether it is infinity or not whether we can reach this particular cell or not so these are infinities that means there's no path from 1 to 1 or 1 to 0 so these are denoted by infinities in the rest of the cells we have a certain numeric value and these value indicate that uh, there's a possible path so for those queries we have to return true let's say if we go for the query 4 comma 4 comma 2 we go to the cell 4 comma 2 which is this cell and the value there is infinity so there is no path from 4 to 2 and the answer for this will be false so this way we are going to solve this problem let us look at the code here's the code i have previously done another problem using same algorithm you can go and watch that video also i'm using the same code here what changes i have made see this is the matrix that we create it will contain int max by 2 i am taking int max by 2 so as to avoid any possible overflows here now for the direct prerequisite i will mark those cells as 1 this is the floyd washer algorithm a very simple n cube algorithm then we will go to each of the query and then see that if the value there is not equals to infinity then we will push back true else we will push back false and then return our answer So it works pretty well. To get comfortable with the algorithm, you can solve more problems using the same algorithm. One problem I have already solved in the past, I will provide the link to that in the description. You can go through that, try solving it by yourself. If you are not able to solve, then you can refer to my video. If you like my video solutions, please subscribe to the channel. I will keep uploading the content related to programming interviews in future. Thank you.